yesterday, the Sunday Times Rich List 2010 was published. According to the annual report of the biggest earners in the country, the collective wealth of Britain's to uh, top 1,000 richest people has now increased by almost a third in the past year, and that's despite the recession. London-based steel magnate Lashmi Mittal claimed this year's top spot for the sixth consecutive year running uh, after his fortune doubled from 10.8 billion in 2009 to 22.45 billion. <gasps> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Russian oil tycoon Roman Abramovich uh, polled second position and the Duke of Westminster uh, was third. So, ladies, <laughs> oh, I know, look, we're all just sat here green with envy. When it comes to other people's money, are you really interested? And do you think it's a, an okay subject to discuss? Is it, or is it vulgar? No, I, I, I don't like rich list business. I, you know, money is not, not everything, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think it is, though. And I, People laugh about, you know, actors and say, you know, why do you do it? And they always think of the rich, famous ones. But actually, most of us do it because we just love getting up and showing off, basically. But I, my mum and dad were very much of that. And we weren't rich at all, but um, very much of the, uh, of the school that you just don't ask people about money at all. It's not part of the... would never have entered the conversation at all. And whatever you did, you had to work for it. And, all, you know, and I'd, that my dad spent hours trying to teach me the value of money and failed miserably. Um, and I've never, you know, I've spent it. If I've got it, I spend it. But um, I think we have a class system in this country whereby, you know, my parents' age group, it, you had aristocracy who you assumed were rich and you had working people who you assumed were poor. Well, actually, it doesn't work like that anymore because we all chase the god money now. So, mm -hmm. and everybody wants to know what everybody's earning. And most people you expect to have money don't have money anymore. Exactly, exactly. You know, chances are, if you own a stately home, you're going to be absolutely breathless. Yeah. It's a yeah, money, exactly. money pit, isn't it? Potless. Yeah. I love that term, <laughs> potless. Nothing in your pot. I do, I, that rich list just annoys me because I just don't believe it. You know, I do think that most of the time, you know, the numbers are just plucked out the air. How can they possibly know what people's fortunes are I mean it, but people are endlessly fascinated by it I am not interested in the list but I am endlessly fascinated by other people's wealth and and you ask them and I do ask them <laughs> yeah no, because, because I do think there's a there's a lot of um, untruth surrounding it all you know especially when you see you know so if, if if he was to walk in here now that Lakshmi Mittal I would say to him come on how much are you really worth it's not that much, is it, really? Well, aren't you more interested oh, I in how to did know. you make it? Oh, that's the, well, that's the thing that fascinates it. me. We all know how he made it, but I just... I, I know he I made don't. it. Still. <laughs> steel. Yeah, but how steel. do you, how do you steel. make steel? And the trouble okay. is, money, well, there's it loads of it. Sell it and money makes money. Once you get beyond that point of paying back... Yeah which I never have, you know, paying back what you owe from the last lot, you, money makes money. That's the thing, really, But isn't what it? intrigues me more than anything is how people lose it, how people get through it, because, you know, you, you do tend to think that people have got more than they, than, yeah. than, than they say they have, because a lot of people lie about money as well, yeah. you know, about what they get paid and how much they've yeah, got stashed yeah. away, and then suddenly they're bankrupt. You think... Aha, where's it gone? So, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't mind asking people. I don't, I don't think it's particularly vulgar. I think people might be quite offended by it. But in America, no one cares. They talk about money all the time. Here, we do have this, this strange conservatism when it comes to talking about money. But I'm, I'm happy with it. I've got massive respect for money, and I grew up learning that because we didn't have much yeah. so where everything that i earn i know exactly where every penny goes and although i'm not mean in any way i spend my money because i believe that money has no worth unless you spend it what's the point in stashing it away i do not waste it and i, I hate seeing money wasted that's why i keep going on about it i use my vouchers in the pizza place down the road <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I do. It's like Alan Sugar's in the room, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, I, I mean, I have a, a massive respect for, for the wealthy, especially those who have created their own wealth. And I think growing up, that's what I always associated um, people who had more than we did with was hard work. Because if we wanted something outside of what the family could afford month by month, my dad had to either do overtime or a bit of decorating on the side. You know, if we wanted a holiday. Do you envy it, though? Because a lot of people suffer from wealth. No, envy, I aspire to it. very horrible trade. No, I aspire yeah. to I mean, I definitely left school wanting to have more than, than we had as a family. Um, not because um, I wanted to be rich, but I wanted to have a more comfortable life. So I aspire to it, but I don't envy it. And I think that's how I think yeah. I've got a healthy respect for it. I save money. I never fritter it. I've never ever squandered it. Mm. Um, and I have never borrowed. I've, mm. I, everything I own, I own. Got no mortgage. But I think I think it is the way you. Uh, well, no, but, but I mean that's. 
It's a loan. It's a loan. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry, Cobb. Sorry, no, carry on. Um, <laughs> I, um, I think it's the way you're brought up as well. Like, my mum, I mean, even when me and my sister started having hit records and all that, so we did have more money than we had when we were kids and we had nothing. You know, my mum and dad were quite poor. But my mum... She could never justify going out and spending thousands of pounds on something when mm. she could get it down Mickey's Market or whatever. Which for is strange because she probably could have afforded to with the way you girls were working. She, yeah, but it's kind of, I've kind of grown up a bit like that now. Whereas even if I could afford something, say I saw a pair of shoes and they were a ridiculous amount of money, even if I could afford it, I've got that inbuilt thing with my mum that I just cannot justify spending that money on, the, on a pair well. of shoes. No, but I or, think that's right, then people who yeah. think it's their right now, lots of people think it's their right to have everything. Whether they can afford it or not, I have money they don't though. have. That's yeah. how they become I, think, I, I do, you know, I do think you're all great not having money envy, but I really do. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you do, here's your chance to get your hands on some cash in this.